Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. So, just a couple minutes ago, I received a notification that my tanker rewards have arrived. This is the 1st of July, 2023. And then the thing that hit me like that was that, you know what? I've never done a tanker rewards video. Well, that is about to change. And the reason why is because I had nothing else better to do. That's actually not true. That was a joke. I just thought I'd throw that in there. But the reason why, it just never occurred to me. And, it, and I wasn't thinking like someone who would want to know how do you get the tanker rewards where you get this free top secret card, which could be anything. Minimum 425 gold, but it could contain a premium tank, which it has before one time. So I thought, well, you know, let me go and make a video showing you what I get, etc., etc., and then I'll tell you how to do it. It's really not super difficult, but it will be illuminating to some people who th who might have thought, well, some of the things you guys do is kind of weird. Yeah, I don't, I'm boring. I don't want to do that. Well, that may be slightly true, but there is an end result that I just overlooked and didn't think to tell you. So... Please leave a like for this video. It will help me spread the word. And that's really important because the more people that see this equals the more people who might be affected by it and might enjoy the game more because they saw this video. If you haven't subscribed, you might want to consider joining the group of subscribers that get my videos every day. And I don't do the boring stuff. That other guys do. Oh, look, here's another generic tier 10 match, which really has no impact on anything. It's just guys playing a tier 10 match, and we might lose or we might win. I don't do that. If it ain't special, you ain't looking at it here. It's just that simple. So, now that I've covered the boilerplate, as they call it, let's get to the gold, shall we? And by gold, I mean card. Well, actually, not the card specifically. First, I'm going to tease you. <laughs> I'm going to show you tanker rewards. What are tanker rewards? Well, the reason I have to show you tanker rewards is not really to tease you. The reason I have to show you those first is because they're going to disappear. All right. So, tanker rewards now. I am a triple A player. What that means is a volume of games played makes you triple A. It's really not complicated. Now, that is part of the result that happens when, <clears throat> pardon me, guys in my group, and it's a loose affiliation, okay? And it's not my group. It's the generic group to which we all you know, gather together virtually around. You know, we work on our long-haul missions every week. That's two cards we're going to get for free just by playing and scoring top seven in tier three matches or above. You do that 75 times, or as Bernie would say, if you do that 25 times a day over six days, you get your two cards. And that's exactly the, the best way to break it down. If you're like, 75 is too long. I don't want to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Well, if, that, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Like Bernie says, do 25 a day minimum and you're good. It'll automatically take care of itself. After the third day, you're going to go, boom, oh, here's a card. And then the next three days, boom, there's your second card. That's the limit is two a week. You know, so we do those, you run long-haul missions. Now, 
I run long haul missions plus, meaning plus I'm running commander missions. Who knows how many, but I'm running extra commander building missions, playing tanks that I want to play that will help me raise my commanders. So this is the main thing that helps us get where we want to go. And I'll show you where to go in just a minute. But you see here, three, four, five. This is 225 gold that you get sent to you for free for making it to the AAA status. Now, you get some of this stuff at AA, but you don't get a card for that. So anyway, what do we get? Uh, vehicle boosters. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I remember correctly, we get five times five vehicle boosters, and I'll check in a second. Here we get our free premium days. That's why I don't buy premium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, six, one, two, three. Yeah. So that's six days of six free days blah, 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 of premium. I don't pay for that. It's free. 100% free. Now here's another, I think these are times three boosters. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. So six times, I think those are times three. We'll check. Um, these are one and a half silver boosters, or is it times two? I don't know. Good question. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yes, five. I think it's five times two silver boosters. Again, all free. Commander experience booster. These are, should be times sixes, I believe. They don't tell you which is dumb. They just tell you, received consumables. Commander experience booster times one. Well, four is the minimum. I think it's a times six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now nah, it gotta be times four. I don't know. Nine, ten, eleven. Well, it'll be easy to tell. What? Eleven. All right. Now let's go out here. Those are the boosters. Plus, I got a card, but we'll get to that in a second. We can go here and look. It's not times six because I don't have any. All right, so those were times four commander boosters. I thought I had 102 already anyway. That doesn't make any sense. I already had 100. Well, I used, I don't know. I don't know about that. Times five, yes. Times three, interesting. Now, that's wrong. I already had times three vehicle boosters. Ten of those, because I bought some from the store in the the 10 pack well the 10 i bought 10 times three vehicle boosters and then 10 times four so uh commander boosters i didn't use any times three vehicle boosters that doesn't make any sense hmm very curious okay well who knows whatever not really that worried about it but Let's go back. Now, this is the money maker of the money makers. So, this one is the butt kicker. And now, we're going to reveal said butt kicker. I got my ring, Dawn. Yay. Times six vehicle booster. I mean, times three vehicle boosters times six of those. That's not bad. At 575 gold. Kind of mediocre. Um, because, well, like I said, the lowest you can get is 425 gold in a red card. It, it was nice. Commander boosters are better for me, but, eh, okay. It was free. Can't complain. If I'd have paid money for that, I felt like an idiot. All right. So there we go. Hmm, very interesting. Let's go back and look now that we've checked that out. Aha. Oh, idiot. I was looking at times three free experience, not times three vehicle, idiot. Oops. 
Just there's the times five vehicle boosters. I was looking at the free experience. I don't know why I was thinking those were the vehicle boosters. Okay, that makes more sense now. 62 is the is is the more correct type of number that I was expecting. All right. So that was my error on the on Mishri. I was because I was looking at this going, man, I had those. If you go back and watch it, like 10, I had bought the package of 10 plus 10 commanders. And I'm like, yeah, those were, like I said, times two vehicle boosters, I believe. A series a split of that times two silver boosters. Man, I'm getting all tongue tied or something. But yeah, let's go to profile. That makes more sense of what was going on. Okay, so we got that covered. All right, now let's go look at here. So this will be very helpful. As you can see, this is for the month of June. It hasn't reset yet, which is good for this video purpose. Twenty-five. Um, sorry, twenty-five hundred is a cutoff. You have to make that much in a month qualifying battles and it tells you how to get points if you want to go look there you can hit the a button and do that i'm not really going to get into that it's, you know play your games do your matches so what happens is if you don't make 2500 you're not going to get all the killer boosters and what have you that i showed you now another way to help you get there do your long hauls which like i told you Find a contract that you're working or that you can do and want to work on, whatever. I'm making good progress here on the VK30. I'm sorry, VK75. 30 is how many days are left. I'm not even trying hard to work on this contract. But if you want to, you can up your production by working contract or contracts. You can even do like I do. Whenever I finish this contract, a week or two, I don't know, I'll probably at least start this Plague Bringer. I've never done it. But what happens is when you get to stage, usually five, but in some of these they've changed it to stage six. You get, there it is, you see the red shield. Three days of free premium. Hey, 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 jackpot. I really don't care about a tier six Plague Bringer. But if you don't have, you know, a tier six, I don't even know what that is. Tank destroyer. Well, if you don't have a tier six tank destroyer, go get yourself a plague bringer. That's fine. I have them. I don't need this one. So to me, the contracts that I don't do represent a chance to get three days of free premium just for playing regular matches at whatever qualifying level running with my other guys so no big deal the hard case is a tier nine much more difficult and long not interested in that let's go see how far it is again six stages to get to the three days of free premium but you'd also pick up another million and a quarter in silver which would be helpful now let's go look at the machine i did the machine all the way up to well, you guessed it, stage six. No, stage five. Snagged those three days and then zipped out of there. Because that's the only one. The rest of these are, you know, cash, cash, and cash. If that floats your boat, okay? And some times six commander boosters, which are nice, but I'm not interested in the machine. I don't need it. It's good. I have nothing against it. I just, you know, don't want to go through a tier 10 contract because a tier 10 contract i'm telling you i call them prison and it's hilarious i uh i kept bugging top and the reason i bugged him i wasn't bugging him i was just you know trying to support his prisons you know time he and i were both in prison at the same time i was in the tusk prison and he was in the chisel prison, which chisel prison and the machine prison are much longer prison terms. So it just really was getting annoying to him. So I'd go play games, teaming up with him to help him while he was working on the chisel. I had done the 
tusk. It took me about 30 days. Not a big deal. But it gets old. At a, at your the later stages, it's like, oh, man, it's just ne it's seemingly never ending. So if you want to do a tier 10 tank contract, that's fantastic. But you need to know up front, it's like going to prison. You're going to be there for a while, and it's not going to be fun. So let's go back to the profile. I guess it pretty much, you know, covers that. Uh, yeah, tier nine status. Now the thing is, at the end of May, I completed the twelfth month of AAA status. Okay, so June was month number thirteen for myself as a AAA guy, and. This is all after I met Fish in Wrong Way. So, I learned the ins and outs from those guys of the system of, that I'm showing you. So that you can score yourself like I scored. You know, let's let's say that, for example, you weren't AAA in June. You can be AAA in July. Remember, July is a 31-day month. You get one extra day. So, the things that you have to do, want to do, need to do. It gives you a little bit more of a incentive to do it. Season challenges. So, you know, there's season challenges. The first four weeks I completed those. No big deal. Today's daily challenge. I just only played one game so far. So this is a season challenge. There's more challenges. These are helpful. Canada Day. I've been doing Canada Day stuff, not even trying. It's just in the background. Flat tire. I got some great cash bonuses was for silver because I was assisting with 500 more damage due to immobilizing vehicles in my artillery, my sexton artillery. I had I had a game where I had like 180,000. I mean, how much did I make this money? It was flat tire. You know, I'm not trying to do flat tire. You can do it, of course. It's fine if you are like to shoot guys and, and then immobilize them, what have you. You'll get paid for that five times in a day maximum. So it's very helpful. So do those things. I'm working on Tank Destroyer Mastery. I'm half, well, halfway there. Not a big deal. And I've been working on Commanders. And that's another bonus I'll show you. So working on my Mastery Badge. I've been not been doing much tank destroyer mastery and I have three ace achievements there which is worth 15 points so basically almost a third of what I have done has been due to three games where I played and got ace scores one in my SU-76I and the other one in my M3GFT the Chinese uh, tier 3 tank destroyer sniper so or Heroes Legends, you know, that happens in the background, you earn those tokens, etc. And again, this is just background stuff, War Hero stuff, I've completed the season, so all that stuff happens on its own. Earn the Frostbite, what have you. So, do those things that are of interest, because there's an ulterior goal. Now you see there's an extra goal you can get. Well, I don't want to do long hauls. I did my long haul, so I didn't show it to you. I guess it's down there at the bottom. The long haul. Place in the top seven experience earners on your team. Win or lose. Tiers three and up. Also Cold War. Earn one of the following random rewards. A blue card, confidential. Black card, classified. Or red card, top secret. Last week, Fish... Got a black classified and a red top secret. He raked it in for like 1,400 gold just for doing those missions. Helping him along his way to become a AAA member for the month. So you see there's a goal. There's a value goal added that you may not have known about. Most people, I guess, don't. I finished my long hauls. Brownie finished his long hauls. He and I shared something this week that we both... Finished our first blue card. Both of us got a free tank. He got a Wojtek Panzer, which he already had. That was a gold refund for him. It was about 
if I remember correctly, or 3,700, one of the two. I got a, a free tank, which was the STRV 42-57 Tier 6 autoloader. Good tank. I already had it. I got a 3,700 gold refund for that tank. Then Brownie and I both got the same result on our second blue cards. 150 gold plus random assorted business. So we had a solid, you know, week of over 4,000 gold or right at 4,000 gold for each of us. So we were very happy with doing our long holes again. So these are just bonuses. Now let me show you the commander stuff. And I have different... I have different uh, videos about my commanders. Let me show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. No, no. There we go. This dude here. In fact, last night I finished this commander skill off, which is why you can see there's no orange in his bar. Actually, I got short. I got to, I got up to 242 points short of his bar. And I said, well, I'm not going to do another mission for that. I'm just going to take my free experience. So this is one of the cases where I break the rule of using free experience for something to complete something. In this case, 242 points, that's not a big deal to complete my bar. And so that's why this guy's next bar says 0 of 255 dead on the 0. Because, yes, I did use the free experience, which I tell you to hoard and don't use for crazy stuff. I'm hoarding 160000 I have another video to make on that. But the elf clothes panther. Anyway, let me see. Triple A. All right, that was a note I was leaving to myself. Um, i got to make that video. Anyway, so... I completed this guy, my goal with my commanders, and it's a bonus goal because this also helps my AAA status. Not that I need the help, but if you do, man, this is a great one to do for yourself. Spend 10, 20 matches, whatever, a day working on building up commanders. Now, let me show you. So this guy, I made him to five slots last night. So let's go to commanders here. I'm going to hit the Y button, which on PlayStation would be Triangle. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to, going to go look at these guys. Now, these are the five skill guys. You see there's 43 of them, and 42 of those are in tanks. Okay, that's fine. So all of these commanders, as you can see, are all going to have five skills. All right? This is in your filter on the left. So let's go to fours, and this is what I'm going to show you that's really important. Fours. I don't have any four skill commanders. You know why? They're all five skills. And I use my Sexton Artillery to play matches. Now that's me. I'm an artillery specialist. All right. This is not for everyone. But if you're a good artillery player, you could do this as yourself with whatever tank floats your boat. So all, all of these fives that you see, pages of fives, the three, four, and there's the fifth page. These guys were essentially at one point four or less. And when I shoved them into the machine of the Sexton, Bamo, they're now fives. Threes. I have threes. And the only reason I have threes is because I got those free uh, War Heroes Legends commanders. So this one I had swapped. You can see here skill boxes are empty. Same thing here for General Abrams. His skill boxes are empty. Now this one, he came this way. I swapped, um, I think the, hers came from uh, Pool. I have Pool in one of my tanks. And he has, a, I think, seven. He's in my uh, Fury, actually. So that's where her boxes came from. These came from General Pool. I assume he was a general. Like, I don't know. But the 
threes and four, you know, have all become fives, minimum. Some have become sixes, etc. So that's why I only have two threes. I don't have very many twos either. Same story. They come this way. He comes with two stars. He comes with two stars. Now this is the, the thing I have left. The ones. I have 28 one skill commanders. Okay, you see all these and what have you. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'll give you this information, and maybe this will help you on the War Heroes Legends. Once the War Heroes Legends operation is over, and I pick up the free tank, I'm going to delete a bunch of these two-dimensional garbage commanders. They're just garbage. And they're all going to be, they're all going to have, I have some other ones. You know, they're all going to have one slot. It was worthless. I have, let me see. I These are all 3Ds except for Captain Red Feathers, the Parrot. I'm keeping him. That's a two-dimensional. I came from the Pirates. And I got him for one of the free cards. I was thrilled because I wanted one of the Parrots. All right? The Eights. Um, Spartacus is kind of cool. This is an Orc. Got to keep him. It's the only Orc I have. I have two Orcs, actually, in, in Orc tanks. Right? I think that's right. Teeth Breaker. And the other one is in the Reaper Scythe. Yes, that's correct. So I got Spartacus, a two-dimensional. This is the regular Arnold. I have a two-dimensional Arnold as well. Where the heck is he hiding? Oh, he's probably in the fives or sixes. It doesn't matter. I'll keep the Arnolds. I don't need this Krampus. He's toast. I'll just get rid of him. He's hideous. So this guy is on the chopping block. This Krampus will be gone. I'll take his skills. As you can see, he's got eight. So we're going to take this eight skills Krampus, and we're going to shove those into a 3D commander. Of course, I'm keeping Patton. I'm keeping Rommel. Hmm. This, this drawing is supposed to represent uh, Spartacus by Kirk Douglas, who was the actor of the movie. This is not a good likeness of Kirk Douglas, but if you want to draw the, the character based upon the Kirk Douglas face, this is, I don't know if this is a genius illustration of a guy that's like Kirk Douglas, but technically not. Kirk Douglas was not an infringement upon his likeness, legally. Or if this is just a bad drawing, because they they missed it. They, the chin is Kirk Douglas. The hair is very similar to the Kirk Douglas hair of the movie. So it's very interesting. I don't know specifically. But it's like, okay, I guess I'll keep him. Because Kirk Douglas is cool. So let's go look at these commanders again. So these are eights. So let's go look at these sevens. The sevens. There's my other orc. You know, Warcraft. I'm going to keep Gustav von Ferst. That's how you properly pronounce his name. The V's in German are pronounced like F's. Gustav von Ferst. So there's three F sounds there, not V's. If you want a V sound in German, they use a W. Okay. Wagen. It's it's it looks like wagon to an American, but it's not a wagon. It's a wagon, it means a car or a carriage. Yeah, there's the other Arnold that I have. That's two dimensional. I keep him. Let's go look at these sixes. Goodbye seven. Hello six. I'll keep the Voitek Panzer. Uh, I've got a Voitek Pan. Uh, sorry, a Voitek Commander two dimensional. Keeping him. He is a 3D bear. Yes, he's in the Wojtek Panzer. This is Pool Three Stars Keeper. Lafayette G. Pool. All right, these are all 3Ds. He's a 2D commander, but he's wearing a British beret. Keep him. Terrible. I, this is a bad illustration. 
Number one, that's not a proper military salute. Sorry. You know, the uh, framing of the, the arm is down there on the side to fit the frame. I'm telling you as a comic book artist, that's what's done there. It's terrible. This is the guy that belongs in the snake bite. I should probably keep him. This is one of the only Chinese commanders I have. This was a Chinese pirate. So keep her. She's in my T-44A, which is a junk tank. I don't need this needle guy. He's toast. 3D commanders. And eh, these 2Ds are like, eh, this guy's nothing spectacular. This guy, the German guys, I like their 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 uniforms and their hats. I'm going to keep those guys. Let's go look at our fives. We've got a bunch of fives. All right, now. Oh, that's General Montgomery. It does It's not a really great illustration of him. Really kind of bogus. He's a two-star. Keep him. Uh, Bogatier goes to the Bogatier tank. Keep it. Rudy goes to the Rudy tank. Keep it. Realistically, it's kind of cool, but he's just worthless. Probably should get rid of him. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not sure. IS-2. Gingerbread Man is pretty cool. He's got that funny, high-pitched, nasally voice. I'm the Gingerbread Man. He speaks slightly faster, too. So He goes in my IS-2 because he came with the IS-2. Zeus, of course I'm keeping him. Because... When I'm in artillery, I sit on high, like Zeus upon Olympus, casting down thunderbolts from the sky. I'll make a good uh, poem rhyme if I uh, restructure it. Eh, don't need him. This is uh, Carl Kraft. He comes with a Kraft's Panzer. So I need to shove him back in there. But right now, the last time I used him was in my icebreaker. He's a keeper. This guy's a bum. Goodbye, Charlie. Um, this is a ghost of Davy Jones. Uh, you know, pirate. Came from pirates. This came from pirates as well. I guess these are kind of keepers, actually. She's okay. I don't know. She doesn't look that great. I mean, she doesn't, you know, Grace O'Malley, that's Irish. She doesn't look Irish to me. I was like, eh, I don't know. 50-50 on her. I might get rid of her. The rest of those. Banana Buster chick. Sheesh, get rid of it. It's terrible. The, the Banana Buster is a good tank. and needs a 3D commander. Because I have gotten an MVP before. If I'm going to get an MVP, I'm going to have a real one. This one, this one has got a, it's got good character. Let's, let's get this. You know, her pose has some character to it, so it's kind of good. All right? So I'm thinking I'll keep her. I kind of have to keep Maria. Her story is good of the fighting girlfriend. So her story makes her a keeper. It's not really a great illustration. There's not any character there, but, you know, her husband was killed as a tanker, and so she ended up buying her own tank and went and, you know, defended her nation as a true patriot. So her story is awesome. Wojtek, you know, a Polish patriot circus bear. He's awesome. This is a an old junk commander, junk commander. Um, good Russian uniform. So... Keep him, I guess. Keep the Germans. You know, again, I, I like, you know, I like the guys wearing their national uniforms. German, Russian. Yeah, I don't care what their uniform is. I think they look cool. This is not a uniform. He's toast. Karl Kraft. Karl Kraft is how you would pronounce this correctly. Yeah, this guy's, you know, that's a good thing, but he's, I don't care about that. Absolution, Commander. Absolution's a good enough tank to get an MVP, to be honest. Gingerbread Man is special. This guy's 50-50. He's on the chopping block, potentially. You got to keep the Rudy. Got to keep the Bogatier. 
got to keep General Montgomery. So I don't have any fours. Don't have much in three. I only have two threes. Got to keep the Abrams. Twos. Uh, I got to keep the Brett. I guess I don't know who. I don't know who he is. No offense, sir. Don't know who you are, but probably have to keep him. Okay, these ones. Keep him. The only Japanese officer or guy that I have. He's the only one. I don't care for this. This guy came in the fury. Doesn't do anything for me. This is a second Buck Peters. Don't care. I have the Kolobinov medal. It's a terrific medal, but this is a horrible illustration. Horrible illustration of Alexander Stark. I have bunches of his medals. Horrible illustration. Really, really bad from a comic book artist perspective I could have taken this and made it look way better using this I mean let's just say that this is a photo that the guy drew and made it you know for copyright purposes I would have made an improvement on the angle and changed his glasses configuration not the design of the glasses but you would see them in a more three dimensional way like the British guy that was wearing the beret. He had a very three-dimensional face. Again, this is the one that comes with the Boilermaker. Probably keep that. I'm keeping this Ares, keeping the Athena. Those came from mythology cards, but um, this was from the season, so it's in the Bellerophon for that season because it's in the Bellerophon. Um, the Athena is terrific. Richard the Lionheart. A legendary king from England. Keep him. This Toldy guy from Sweden. Eh, he's in his Toldy. A Toldy's a crud tank. It's a crud, you know, no offense, crud commander picture. Okay. This is okay. She's gone. Man. I could swap this guy out and put him, save him for another Chinese tank. That would be a good thing for him. Black Caesar is okay. Mm, toughy. The only Japanese. <sighs> I only had two Japanese commanders, but I got the other Japanese soldier, and so I dumped that stupid Kabuki chick. I don't need her in the bucket. I don't need him. I really don't need this guy. I've had him for a long time, but... Eh, you know, he's just a commander. And now I have so many one-star commanders. Get rid of Gwazi. Get rid of this Trinity guy. You, you know, it's like some kind of superhero guy wannabe. She's gone. She's probably gone. I don't want to get rid of Black Caesar. He's pretty cool. Um, get rid of her. He's a 3D. Get rid of this guy. He doesn't really do anything. He's not an actual soldier. That's my, my cutoff is I need actual soldiers. Or on um, fighting girlfriend Maria, she's no, I don't think she was an actual Russian army soldier. She was a freelancer, uh, you know, like a home homebred Russian patriot. So I don't think Maria is a technical member, unless you know it was after the fact of the war, due to her heroism. So she would be the exception to the you bet you got to be. You got to be, you know, from the military. The King of England, Richard the Lionheart, he gets a pass. He's king, all right? There, there are special circumstances for Captain Red Feathers. He's a parrot. You know, the pirates are indir indirectly, they're kings of their own ship. So this is, you know, what I'm doing. But so I'm going to, I'm going to thin down my roster. That was an awesome Voitech that you just saw. So. Hopefully this will help you see ways to create interest for you to work towards your AAA status. Now, here's another bonus. This is another secret. As Shooter McGavin would say, secret of the pros. Secret of the pros. Now, they changed at the start of the season. 
they changed the long haul rules and tier twos are no longer allowed to make long hauls. That doesn't stop me because I'm innovative and, and exciting. And what I do, I've said it before in videos, there's no tank in the game that will jack up your commander points faster than the Panzer 38H. You just can't not get a long haul credit for it, but those Panzer 38H missions, they do count towards AAA status. You get monster commander points. You get practice. You know, if you enjoy those, fantastic. If you don't enjoy those, well, then don't play it. It's whatever. For me, I still run a, a healthy five to ten missions a day. Because you just can't beat the points, okay? And if I need to jack up a guy's points faster without worrying about long hauls, like I finish my long haul, so every time I run these, I'm not getting anything that I'm not missing either. Do long haul first is what I would say. So, you know, put the long haul priority above 38H commander priority. Once you're done with that, hit this dude five, ten matches a day. Make some, you know, make some commander points because this thing makes good commander points. So that's another secret. This helps your AAA status because remember, Panzer 38H averages about 10 matches an hour once you reach a, a skill level where you're good enough to get that. If you make it to that level, you're getting 10 games an hour, dude. It's like, dude, that's awesome. Great commander points because you get that. Like right here, now that we have a special bonus today. Today is a 200% bonus, uh, July 4th weekend, uh, etc. All right. Well, today's the first, second is Sunday, third, fourth is Tuesday. Well, anyway, whatever. It's probably July 4th related, but anyway, 200% bonus. And after that red stripe is gone, every regular game you play is a 100% bonus commander. Because of the commander and tank combination with the enhanced rations. And my commander has the very first skill you see on the on the left under his name, John Garvey. That first skill, plus 10% quick learner. So this dude rakes it in. In fact, last night I used this one to finish off. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Use this one to finish off, as you can see, with a 1,400 left over. A seventh skill on this guy. If I play this tank, it's going to be wicked because this dude has got maximum vision in this tank. This tank has a maximum vision of 432. It doesn't get higher than that. And that's long for a tier two. So this dude could see guys that can't see him. Now my... Still, concealment isn't very good. Even though I have camouflage on there, I don't have a camo net because that would impact my speed. But I could add the next skill would be camouflage expertise. And actually, it just all depends what you want to do. All right, now this is a special case. We could... We could leave it as it is, which is fine. Or we could remove the quick learner and replace it with a camouflage expertise. Wouldn't gain you that much. That's why right now it's still better. We got to go 650,000 to get the eighth one. Now, as I approach 650,000 and got right close to it, I would respec this guy and replace the quick learner with a camouflage expertise. And then I'd get that eighth skill and then add, geez, I don't know. What would I add after that? Let's look. Okay. Whenever I respec this right before I'm about to get my eighth one. Um, hmm. Turret rotation would be a good one. Rapid aim. That would be very good. This one, run and gun, is not good for this tank, but... See, here's another one. I'm not building this commander for this tank. I'm building this commander for a different tank. And that's the key. So, rapid aim would be good for the 38H. But it may not be great 
Now it'd be good for a heavy tank, maybe. Run and gun, if I was doing this for a light tank, uh, an interceptor tank, I'd add run and gun for the accuracy during motion. If I'm doing a heavy tank, another one that I could do, um, let's see, heavy tank. If I'm doing this for a sniper, like I said, we replaced a quick learner with camouflage expertise, and then I might go for a sniper. I might go with a green thumb on top of that for extra camo in bushes. Very difficult to spot. Also, mediums or heavy tanks or light tanks, pain tolerance would be good. Lesser Lessens your chance of having guys knocked out in combat. Um, light tanks or, or fast mediums, controlled impact, you know, like a Panzer V, would be a great choice for this one. So there's a lot of different ways you can tailor these skills. For me, the basics, one, two. This is born leader, rapid loading, three, four. Steady aim, armor angling, minus 5% damage. You can put this four combo on any tank. And that's why those are my first four, okay? Then, depending on the tank you're building, Iron Mace is good. If you're a really good player, and you know better than average, meaning you're the guy that's at, that's at the end of matches, you're the last four or five tanks, that's when binoculars make their presence extra felt because you're going to be one of the last guys and you need to see guys because you don't have spotters. So that makes your individual spotting range the best it can be. So something to consider if you play a lot of end of game matches where you're one of the few survivors, that binoculars will help you a lot because you get to see them in many cases before they get to see you or at least equal. So that's a big deal. That's why on my tanks, especially these fighting tanks, I use a lot of advanced optics I want to be seen because I'm a guy that survives typically uh, to the end of the matches where I need this and this is what makes m myself as artillery when I'm playing my sexton artillery my sexton has a killer spotting range and it makes me a predator as an artillery I'm, I'm a predator like a medium tank in some situations not every situation but it helps a lot so those are things to consider. So that pretty much covers it. I don't want to last too much longer. So this should help you with AAA status. And that's the key. Because you're going to get that extra card every month. Oh, it's just one card. Well, that's true, but 10% chance you get a tank. I have only gotten one tank out of triple out of uh, tank of rewards cards. One free tank. But hey, that was one. And that was an M41D Tier 8 Chinese light tank. So just giving you the heads up on that. If you don't do the stuff, you're not going to get the stuff. But now I've given you perhaps a better sequence for a plan for your monthly business to consider doing contracts. You know, including doing contracts you don't intend to finish. Because go to do a contract, get the three days, get out is what I do. I get in, get my three days, get whatever else shows up at that time, but I don't finish contracts. The, ex the exclusive for me, I'm doing the VK-75 contract because this is an 8,000 gold tank. If I get this tank in this contract, which I will, then if I get this tank in a card, 8,000 gold, thank you. I have the... Icebreaker, which is the same tank with the camo. This one looks awesome as well. I'm good with having both of those. Other tanks, I didn't need it. But this one looks cool either way, so I'm, I'm happy. So, just giving you the heads up. This is a premium tank. I actually threw away and sold a bunch of my non-premium mercenary tanks because I don't need them. They're just, they're stupid. For me, and I'm saying for you, 
If you don't have a lot of tanks, they're great to get those free tanks. But what happens now they have done is taken contracts. And if you finish the contract, you can't do it again to make the money and uh, to glean all the rewards. So you want to be careful. You don't want to do a contract just to finish it off like I did. You want to think ahead and leave. You want a lot of have, have a lot of contracts open where you can go do them, extract the three days of free premium, and then leave, go do a, start another contract. So what I would do, for example, when I finish this contract, I'd come here, I'd start the Plague Bringer. It's a six. It's easy. Go here, get the three days, go hit this nine hard case or the ten machine. And I, really, I could go in here, do one stage of this, quit, come back to the Plague Bringer and do the same thing all over again and milk this for three days. Let's look at this. Okay, I'm going to make this one more time briefly. This is super easy. Tier 3 or above, no problems. This is Tier 5 and above, medium tank, no problems. Knock this off, you know, multiple in a day stages. Tier 4 and above, tank destroyer, sniper tank, no problem. Play it all the time. Stage four, yeah, no problem. Tier four tank destroyer, which is an extension of the past one, gravy. This one, yeah, a little bit more. Now, this is a little bit tougher. Deal damage equivalent to twice your maximum health or more in three battles, tank destroyer. So I do that all the time, actually. In tank destroyer, it's much easier. I was thinking, you know, medium tank would be harder, but this is a tank destroyer, so I do this in my... Um, any of my tanks, uh, SU-76I, any of the Tier 3 or Tier 4 tank destroyers, this is gravy. Now, you can't do it in a 3 or a 4. you got to do it in a 5. Now, i got 5. It's no big deal. Not hard. So, this is gravy. Stage 6. I could literally do this all in one day. Now, it might be a longer day, like a Saturday or Sunday. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, let's just say two days. You can knock this out. Get three free days of premium. Go over here to hard case, do stage one, take about, you know, half an hour or less, okay? Two or three battles, boom, you're done. And it would go to stage two, and then I would just dump out of this guy and go right back to Plague Bringer. And I'd milk this like a cow. That's why, if you look at my status, 128 days, I don't buy premium. The last time I bought premium was Black Friday. I bought two months, and that was it. I don't buy any more. It's all free. Now I get six days of premium every month right off the top as a AAA guy. So that's the thing. This is the strategy of the AAA account. You can get there this month. You know, this month, yes, absolutely, you can get there, no problem. Just you know, and it, there'll be a couple of days of lag in this, but you should by the middle of the month, by say July 14th, you want to be in the vicinity of 1,200. Okay, or the you know July seventh, you need to be in the vicinity of essentially a hundred points a day. So you want to be in the six hundred plus. You get six hundred plus by the seventh of July. Well, maybe the eighth of July, due to the lag of when it reports it. Sometimes it gets lag behind. So let's just say on the eighth of July, you should hit six six and a quarter. If you can hit 650 plus, you're on the pace that you need to be on. And if you're not on that pace, just jack it up a little bit. It's no big deal. So this is your plan of how to get to AAA status. So I hope you liked this video. So if you did, please leave a like. It'll help spread the word. We need guys getting on the program of AAA. They're going to get more stuff, and it's going to be a lot better for them. If you haven't subscribed, you might want to consider subscribing. Daily notifications I make. An average of more than two videos a day. It's free, by the way. Please tell your friends. That way they could have a chance to like and maybe subscribe themselves. This will help you do more. Get more stuff. Check out my other videos. I've got some guys that, that are now starting to thank me for helping them do better. Which is, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Is help people do better and get more out of this. So, thanks for watching. I will see you guys Later, I have other videos to make. So, it was awesome. 
hope it helps.